Hey everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech channel. In today's video, we will be diving into how to link your digital ocean droplet with your Hostinger domain using DNS records. If you have not already watched my previous video on creating a droplet on digital ocean to host our Laravel app, make sure to check that out first. I will leave a link in the description below. First things first, let's log into our digital ocean account and navigate to the droplet we created in the previous video. Once you are on the droplet page, you will see the IP address of your droplet. Take note of this IP address as we will need it in the next step. Now head over to your Hostinger account. If you don't have a Hostinger account yet, I highly recommend signing up using my affiliate link in the description. Hostinger offers reliable and affordable hosting solutions and by using my link, you will be supporting the channel while getting a great deal on your hosting plan. Once you are logged in into your hosting account, navigate to the domain you want to link with your digital ocean droplet. So as I want to use this domain, so I will keep it selected. In your Hostinger domain management panel, that is down here, go to the advanced section and click on the DNS zone editor. So here we will add our DNS record to link your domain with your droplet. So my main domain is already connected with another website. So I will not change that, but I will use a subdomain to link to my Laravel project. So first we need to select the A record from this drop down as the record type and in the name field enter you can either type at the rate sign to represent your root domain or if you don't want to target the root domain if you want to use subdomain you can use the name of the subdomain for example i want to use digital ocean and in the points to field enter the ip address of your digital ocean droplet that you noted down earlier so set the ttl time to live to a lower value such as 300 seconds to propagate the changes quickly. Now let's save the record by clicking on the add record button. So it will show you this information there and confirmation you just have to confirm. Click on the confirm. If you linked the root domain then you, sh you may need to add another entry by adding www like that and in this way your both root domain and www subdomain would also be linked to that IP address. But in our case, we are just using one single subdomain. So we will keep using that. Now that we have added the necessary DNS records, it's time to test the connection. So, but before that open a, there is a website DNS checker that is very useful where you enter the domain and it will tell you if it has been propagated already or not yet. So here I will type digitalocean.iastack.com. Hit the search button and here it will tell you that if it has been completed or not. So for example, remember this IP address, this IP address should be everywhere. So I'm going to search it and you can see that it has been propagated everywhere. So it should be working. Now let's try to access it in the browser. All right, you can see that. So if everything is set up correctly, you should see your app running on your digital ocean droplet. Keep in mind that DNS changes may take some time to propagate. So if you don't see your app immediately, give it a few minutes and try again. And there you have it. You have successfully linked your digital ocean droplet with your hosting domain using DNS records. Now your Laravel app is accessible through your own custom domain. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to IAS Tech channel for more tutorials and tech content. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at ayastech.com where I create written versions of every video on this channel. You will find in-depth articles and additional resources to further enhance your learning. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.